All right, students. If you have already set up a North Star learning account and you have um, already taken part in all of the things that are included in the first video, you're ready to move on to the second stage of your North Star online literacy training. And this is going to take you through some more advanced digital literacy skills rather than just the basic computer skills. So this is where you want to start if you've already passed the basic computer skills component of the North Star learning system. So if you've already set up your account and you've already signed into your account, then you will probably go directly to a screen that looks just like this. Um, if you have not set up your account yet, then you want to go back and watch that first video that says getting started with North Star online learning system. So you'll want to do that one first. If you have already finished it, then this is the right place for you to be if you want to continue working on your North Star skills. So this tells you what you've what tests you've taken and you can see your progress here and you'll see that on this uh, student that I've set up, I have taken and completed the first uh, basic computer skills test and I've also mastered the second one. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what you would do if you were going to move on from there. Let's say this is where you are right now. Um, the reason you want to sign into your account is so that you'll have a record of everything that you've done as far as the test taking is concerned. It will not track your progress with the training portion um, beyond the basic computer skills at this point. They're still working on rolling out the additional uh, linkage between the training component and the um, North Star learning system that this page represents. Uh, so that will be happening over the course of the summer. And in fact, you may discover when you get here that you see more than you expected to see. So how do you get to the place where you take the next test? Uh, if you're on this screen, you want to go and hover over your name and click on it and you'll see that it gives you a couple options, either your profile or the North Star home. The North Star home is where all the tests reside. So that's where we wanna go right now. And it's going to toggle over to the North Star page that you're familiar with by now. And you can scroll down until you see the test that you want to take. Uh, I've already taken Internet Basics, so I'm going to click on Using Email. It's going to ask you that, do you hear music question? Uh, if you hear the music, then you're going to want to click Next. If not, then you want to adjust your audio buttons until you do hear the music. Okay. You'll also have some uh, orientation. If you've already taken the orientation, you can skip it. So I'm going to click skip. Um, and then it tells you that this is going to be a 32 question test and you can start now. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but that's what you would do. You would say start now and go ahead and take all the rest of the test. Remember that you will have some buttons over here to the right. Once you start taking the test, let me just go ahead and start there. Let me uh, get this lady to be quiet for me. I know you can't hear, but I can. Um, and it's asking me to click on the picture. Um, you can rewind the idiot, uh, the audio so that you play it again. Uh, if you if you didn't quite hear it the first time through, you can also go forward or backward in the questions. I'm sorry, you can only go backward after you've passed the questions. Uh, if you want to go back and work on a question that you thought you answered correctly, but later in the test, you realize oh, uh, that was not the right thing. You can go backwards in the test. Okay, now at the end, what you're going to get are some results. Okay, so I've worked through the email test and I've gotten to the end where my results are. I skipped a bunch of questions so that I could show you what it looks like to have missed a bunch of questions. And you'll see that my results are probably familiar to you at this point if you've used North Star before, which you should have if you're watching this video. And you'll see that it's, I did not make 85%, so I did not pass the score, the, the S assessment, <clears throat> you'll see that I've got 10 out of the 32 questions correct. It gives me a list of the skills that I've mastered, and it gives me a list of the skills that I need to improve. So these are the things that I want to focus my training on. Uh, so what you can do is leave this tab open uh, so that you can refer back to it constantly as you're working through the various pieces of the training program. That's one option. The other option is to print the results. And so you see that there's an option. If you have a printer available to you, it's easier probably to print the results. And that way you can just sort of check things off as you work through your results, okay? So next I'm gonna show you how to get to the actual uh, training materials so that you can successfully uh, learn these things that are the skills that you need to improve. I've already got a separate uh, tab open here 
with the North Star homepage in it. So open a new tab, navigate back to the North Star homepage on that tab, and I'm going to show you how to get to the training materials. This is the heart of what we're doing today. So we're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom of the page, and you'll see that there is a, uh, a list at the bottom called this assessment info. Um, one of the things at the very bottom of that is curricula. That's a fancy name for lessons, okay? So we're going to click on curricula to get to the lessons, okay? And it gives us a couple of different options. Uh, it tells you that there's some free stuff that the teachers can download and there's a subscription you can do and so forth. We're going to ignore all that and we're going to go here. Web resources curated by North Star. This is a group of videos and pamphlets and websites and practice material and so forth that has been put together by North Star. Uh, it doesn't keep a record of what you do here, but this is going to take us some to some um, training materials that are specifically aligned with all those little bullet points that you're going to find in your test results. Okay, so I have clicked through to uh, the external resources uh, site. You'll see that's called external resources at the top here. You may want to bookmark this page so that you can get to it more easily next time. So I highly recommend that you do that. Just click on your bookmark and set one for it. So I'm going to go to using email since that's the, the assessment that I just took and just have some results for. Okay. And you'll see that there is a whole list, a whole numbered list of uh, skills that you need to have to, to use email. And so I'm going to look, as I said, I left my tab open of my test results so that I can line up what I'm studying with the results of my test. So the first skill that I need to improve on is define email and identify common email client clients. Okay, so <clears throat> you'll notice that that's the very first uh, item on the list. So I can click here. Uh, it's an article which introduces email. This is another article that says what is email. You can try both of those if you want to, or you can just click on one of those. Um, you'll notice that there's a key at the top of the page that tells you that if it looks like a little book, then that's a text resources. That's something you're going to read to find out more information. Uh, if you uh, see the play sign, you'll see that it's a media resource, generally a video that's going to teach you something. And then finally, the last one is probably the most important one. And when it's available, you'll see it's not available. Not all of these options are available for every skill that you want to, to learn. Uh, but this one offers an activity resource, which means it's interactive. It's going to ask you questions and you're going to get to click on their results and sort of learn the material by doing. Um, and so this works very much like, much like the assessment itself. Okay, so you can just toggle back and forth between this tab, which tells you your results, log into email, let's say, and this tab, which tells me, okay, how do I log into email? So this is how you're going to use North Star. Go back and forth, learn the material. If you want to just sit and work all the way through some material that you know you don't know very well, this is a great way to do it. Um, of course, some of the different things that you can learn on North Star include um, things like, let me just go back here, not just your basic computer skills, using email, uh, but Windows, which is the most common operating system that's used by most computers out in the workplace. And so you want, you can learn all about Windows. And then if you want to get more advanced, you know that you want to do a kind of job where you're going to need to uh, work, know how to work a spreadsheet. So you might want to learn a little bit about Microsoft Excel. You may want to learn Microsoft PowerPoint. Everybody needs to learn Microsoft Word because this is the most common word processing, document producing, uh, software that you're ever going to run into. Everybody uses Microsoft Word. Um, and this is probably where you'll end up creating something like a resume or a cover letter that you want to send to an employer. Uh, if you intend to continue your education and you want to know how to uh, create uh, papers that you might turn into a, uh, an assignment, then you need to know how to use Microsoft Word. But notice there are also some uh, resources that they've added that are technology for use in daily life. Things like how to use social media safely, um, just basic information literacy, how to figure out whether a website is legitimate or not, or whether it's fake news, that kind of thing. It's career search skills. This is really, really important right now. How to find out uh, how to find a job. And then about your digital footprint. This is about how to keep yourself safe, to keep you from 
leaving trails out there on the internet that will cause people to be able to steal your identity and so forth. Um, and so this gives you some information about how to avoid doing that. So happy uh, digital literacy learning, and I hope you make lots and lots of progress and we'll be ready to take some proctored tests when we get back to campus.